how can I tell a story of five and a half years in such a short time? There's so much to talk about it. My, there's one thing that I, the main thing that I always feel terrible about, that is every night when I get into bed and I think about the days that where I was in the camps or in the ghetto, what it was like. And I keep on thinking about if, I, if there's one wish I had in my life, I know I can't have it, is to have my parents and my youngest brother and two younger sisters that perished in my apartment for just one day and one night. To have the things that we have, that I have, was something they never enjoyed. But I promised them that for the rest of my life, I would go around and educate the young people, and only young people do I speak to. They want to hear it. I would educate them and tell them that they'd have to be the messenger for me. Well, the ge next generation has been very, very, I've been very pleased with the response that I get. I wish they, their parents would have to sit down and talk to them about that and see how much they care, how much they want to know, how much they learn. And they keep on promising me that their children and grandchildren will know that they will tell them that story. Involved not to be silent, because the best way for evil to flourish is for good people to be silent.